what can I say, guys? WrestleMania 30 just ended. Wow. Uh, a lot of shocking things coming out of this. Um, I don't know if I would say, I don't know if I would deem this as the greatest WrestleMania of all time. But because of some of the elements and things that have happened tonight, I think some people, I could see how easily most people may deem this as the greatest WrestleMania of all time or would deem it as such. Um, so just real quickly, the show opened up with Hogan, uh, Rock, and, and, and Stone Cold Steve Austin opened up the show. Great entertaining uh, stuff coming from, from those guys. Uh, when I mean those guys, I mean minus Hogan because Hogan wasn't entertaining at all. It was all Rock and Austin that was intriguing. Uh, but anyway, they, they set the tone for the show. A match opened up with Daniel Bryan and Triple H. Uh, I was okay with this match being the first match because, you know, it's always in WrestleMania the first match that, you know, the crowd is fresh, they're energized, and they're going to do a lot of, you know, they, they're going to be they're going to be energetic during the first match. So it made sense that this was the first match. Uh, Daniel Bryan beat Triple H. The crowd was elated. I'm like, yes. Uh, then Triple H beats up Daniel Bryan. Uh, one after he beats up Triple H, um, the Shield versus uh, Outlaws and Kane match. This was just disoriented. It was kind of a little bit all over the place. I think Brian and Brian and Triple H's match uh, probably went longer than it should have because that match seemed rushed. It just seemed like let the Shield get their spots in, bam, and then they win, and that's it. So it would not surprise me at all if we see a rematch uh, with these uh, with these two teams tomorrow night on Raw. Would not surprise me at all, but the Shield won nonetheless. Uh, next match we got was the Battle Royal. Uh, this match was fun for, for what it was. Uh, Daniel Cesaro, a dark horse, did not expect it, won this and definitely be interesting to see uh, Antonio Cesaro, how they push him further and forward. Um, since he has this under his belt now, it would definitely be interesting. Uh, the next match after that we got was uh, Bray Wyatt versus John Cena. Uh, in my opinion, I thought this was match of the night. Uh, you know, the, the the match I thought was I thought was a good match. I thought it was a good match, back and forth pace, um, and it was just very entertaining uh, on Bray Wyatt's part. He was very, Bray Wyatt was very interesting. You know, I even give credit to John Cena. John Cena showed some ruthless aggression uh, that I have not seen John Cena have in in, in years. Uh, so, uh, definitely, I, I would give credit to both men. Bray Wyatt was entertaining and being creepy and spooky as he was, uh, and being, you know, the, the psychology of the match, I thought was, I thought was a really good match. And, you know, because the way Bray Wyatt carried himself and how much of a challenge he brought to John Cena, by him losing, I don't think he was buried or hurt in any way by losing John Cena tonight. I have pointed that out in another video. Um, the next match we got was uh, Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, this match, for all intents and purposes, uh, it wasn't the greatest match. Uh, the crowd wasn't dead. I think they were kind of tired because the Battle Royal, they were hot for that. So I just think they were just exhausted by the time they got to the Taker and uh, uh, Lesnar match. So like I said, you know, the match wasn't great, but, you know, I didn't expect it to be anyway because Brock Lesnar ain't the wrestler he used to be 10 years ago. And Undertaker is, you know, um, just... He's not who he used to be anymore either. Um, so I expected him to, to play it safe. However, what put the defining moment of, or the nail in the coffin for this match, Undertaker's streak was broken tonight. Uh, amazing. They, they shocked the wrestling world. They shocked. This will forever be remembered in WrestleMania. I mean, in history of professional wrestling, Brock Lesnar beat Undertaker's streak. Uh, the people, the reaction in the crowd was just, they were stunned. Um, I mean, even the announcer himself was like, and your winner, Brock Lesnar. You know, it was very slow, like, should I be saying this? And even the look on Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar's faces were like, should this have happened? Did this really just happen? Like, was, wasn't was Undertaker supposed to kick out? Like, they had that look. Um, so, I know a lot of people are probably upset and pissed off about this and say, hey, if you're going to break Undertaker's streak... Why have it to a part? Why give it a guy to Brock Lesnar, not some new up and coming rising star? I have a theory and opinion as as to why I kind of prefer it this way and not to have a new young superstar. I save that for a separate video uh, tomorrow before Raw. However, uh, we get to the next match. Uh, AJ 
won and defended her title. Main event match. Boy, I tell you, thank God for Daniel Bryan because if it was not for him, he is the saving grace for this main event title match. Um, Because, I mean, first 10 minutes in, Batista was gassed. Batista was gassed out. Um, Orton was, was still able to go. But, boy, Bryan went through hell even in this match. Uh, Batista and, and Orton kind of did a whole, you know, evolution reunion for a little bit, for a little while, and just double teamed Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan got carried away off a stretcher. He got out of the stretcher. Uh, Triple H and Stephanie tried to interfere. They tried to bring in a crooked referee. All the odds, everything they threw at Daniel Bryan, Bryan just keep just kept on coming, just kept on coming, just kept on ticking. Uh, got Batista with the running knee, immediately put him in the lock hole, made the animal tap, not Orton, but the animal tap, and Daniel Bryan is your new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Congratulations. Uh, anyone who pisses and says that Daniel Bryan is an internet darling, bullshit because you looked at that crowd at Wrestlemania hell you look at every single arena and every crowd for the last year of you know and in and, 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 and Smackdown and house show Daniel Bryan is over with the casual fans he is over with the majority fans I don't give a damn about ratings being a 2.2 a 2.5 whatever nobody gives a shit about ratings anymore except for the people who run the building and run the place fans shouldn't give a shit about ratings so uh, congratulations to Daniel Bryan I thought it was a, 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 a good WrestleMania, a fun WrestleMania. I have not purchased a WrestleMania like this since 21. You guys let me know what you think of the box below about WrestleMania 20, uh, 30 this year. What do you think about the matches? And again, like I said, I'll have my theory video as to about the whole Undertaker losing a streak thing to Brock Lesnar. Comment, subscribe, peace.